In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to create music videos like Don Tolliver. And I know it's probably not Don Tolliver who creates them or edits them, but you guys know what I mean. I'm going to be breaking down a grunge effect, VHS effect, and a transition he used in his FWU uh, music video. And before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that I released my Fusion Preset pack a couple of days ago, and it has the craziest vfx looks for music video editing so to check it out there's going to be a link in the description so you guys can easily go and check it out now let's start with the tutorial so here i'm in after effects and i'm using fhd with 24 fps if you guys want to use the same composition settings and here i've imported the fwu uh, music video here and as you guys can see we have this kind of vhs low quality effect here noise flash and these kind of grunge looks here so I'm going to be starting off with the kind of default grunge effect used in the music video. So I'm going to be yeah, making a new adjustment layer here. And I'm going to start off by adding noise to this. So noise. And here we're going to be increasing the amount of noise to 50%. I think it's a great amount. So now we get this noise look here on our footage. After that, we're going to be dragging down the resolution by adding the mosaic effect here. And here I'm going to go pretty low on the resolution here. So I'm going to set the horizontal and vertical blocks to 200. So we get this kind of look here. After that, we're going to be adding curves to increase the contrast a little bit. Something like that, a nice contrast boost. After that, we're going to be adding fast box blur to this. And then I'm going to set the blur radius to 3. And then add unsharp mask. To regain the sharpness now. I'm gonna set the amount to 200, then the radius to 2. And it's going to look something like this here. Low quality grunge effect here. Very default, very, very clean. And it's going to work perfect for your music videos. Great. After that, we have the kind of grain flash transition. I don't know what to call it, but uh, yeah, it was a subtle. Uh, transition he used in this music video. So how to make that is basically to create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna make this just three frames long. So one, two, three. It was super short, quick flash, grain transition here. And here we're going to be adding noise. Set the amount of noise to 100. Keyframe it, go to the ending. Then add exposure, set the amount to three. Then uh, keyframe the exposure at the beginning. Go to the ending, then set it to zero as well. Then after that, add fast box blur. Set the blur amount to two, then keyframe the blur. Go to the ending, set it to zero. Then we're gonna open the adjustment layer fast, fix, and then open up exposure, master. And here we can make a quick uh, graph here by easy using the keyframes. Open the graph, make it a little bit sharper, like that. So the flash disappears fast. A green flash transition. And now if we add it to the transitions here, then control D to duplicate. It's gonna look something like this here. Super fast grain flash transition, which is just a really, really nice small touch to amplify the whole grunge aesthetic even more, in my opinion. And now for my favorite effect from that music video is the kind of low quality camcorder, like super low quality. It looks super, super cool and really, really grunge in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to create it. So make a new adjustment layer, control alt y And the key with making this particular uh, camcorder VHS kind of effect is to really like ramp up the sharpen look here so it's gonna be a very very sharpen look but that's the uh, yeah kind of look they had basically so it's gonna start off with the same we did before noise i'm gonna set it to uh, around 50 percent here then we're gonna go to adding mosaic drag down the resolution by setting the horizontal and vertical blocks to 200 after that we're going to be adding fast box blur and now when we have been dragging down the quality this much, like it looks super low, <laughs> low quality here, uh, we're going to be blurring out all of the low quality we've made uh, here by increasing the blur radius. And, and I'm going to set this to 5. So now we can barely see the pixels here. And now we want to get back the sharpen look. And we're going to do that by adding unsharp mask. And here set the amount to 500. And then the radius to 5. And now you guys can see we're starting to get the pixels here back you can see it a little bit on the edges here and the sharpen is really starting to pop now after that we're going to be adding unsharp mask once again so unsharp mask now set the amount to 500 again but then set the radius to 3 instead so now it's going to be popping even more so 
to show a before and after if we disable the unsharp mask effects it's going to look something like this and then with them we get this look here crazy difference and then we're going to be making a small contrast boost by adding curves make a s shape here something like that and you will be getting this low quality camcorder look here looks absolutely incredible looks super super good literally one of the best grunge camcorder effects you can like use for your music video absolutely love this an incredible thing right now is that you guys obviously thought these look good uh, you guys haven't seen my fusion preset pack where I literally fused together all of my editing packs on my entire website creating the most ultimate vfx presets for music video editing and in there i specifically have grunge fuse presets which looks absolutely incredible and you guys gotta see how they look you just have to make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y here we can go to effects and presets animation presets user presets here we have fusion presets and then we can open up grunge fusions and these are with no doubt the best grunge presets i have ever seen not gonna lie like not to be joking when i said that these are the i haven't seen it like any better presets than this so what you just need to do is just drag and drop in a preset we can use the punk tape for example just drag and drop and now when we play it's going to look something like this absolutely incredible looks i mean too good to be true like and that is just one effect from the fusion preset pack so we can create a new adjustment layer make the old one invisible and here we could use the metro nightmare just drag and drop and the metro nightmare is going to look something like this insane like you can't even my god like what and we can add one more we can use the lava grunge just drag and drop and this is how the lava grunge is going to look i mean come on come on my god my god that looks good holy can a grunge effect even get better than that let's be honest here like can it even get better than that that looks that is a top tier grunge effect here my lord so yeah, if you guys want to upgrade your grunge effect game the fusion preset pack is available on my website and the link is going to be in the description down below so you guys can easily go and check it out other than that i hope you guys like this video on how to create music videos like don't Oliver. thought the effects turned out really really good uh, and uh, i'm very satisfied so i uh, hope you guys are as well <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys soon take care and uh, have a nice day